The story goes with a beautiful machshava that the Yit of Lev said over. He said like this, the Pasuk says, Basukos teishvu shivas yomim. The word teishvu could also mean boishes, embarrassment. Basukos boishes. Why would a person be embarrassed? You come into sukkos, and you're coming into such a holy place, a sukkah, although yes, it's a simple house, it's a simple hut. On the other hand, it's so holy. It says that a person should be so careful not to say Loshon Hora, not to say anything negative. I tell my kids, if you're going to fight outside of the sukkah, there's no such thing as um, not to make kids fight. Once in a while, you get into a little bit of a tangle. Not in the sukkah. Sukkah has such incredible inherent kedusha. Basukkah is teishu. You come to sukkahs and you feel boishas. Don't think you, you can't be in the sukkah. Why? Basukkah is teishu shivas yomi kola ezrach b'Yisrael. Anyone that says to himself right now, you know what? I want to shine. Ha'ezrach could also mean the lashon of zorach. I'm go- I want to shine. I'm not shining right now. I'm not. I have all these faults and all these uh, blemishes. I'll say, what do you mean? How can I just say to Hashem, because I'm going to be shining, now I'm, I'm okay? Because you should know, your generation should know, I sat the Jewish people and they came out and they were also very much blemished. They came out of the 49 Shari Tuma. They were not the best Jews. And yet, Hashem took us out. That's what the Sukkah is teaching us. And a person should know. I saw the story of Rabbi and bring such a beautiful story of the Baba Vareva. Someone once came to the Baba Vareva with an Esrik, right before Sukkot. The es- and he looked at the Esrik, it was perfect. One of those Esrik you probably have to spend a thousand dollars for. He couldn't, ma- he-, he looked at the Esrik, it was gorgeous. And everyone said, of course he's going to use this Esrik. Came Yontav, he took his other Esrik that he had. And they were shocked. How can it be that the Baba is not using this gorgeous Esrik, the most beautiful Esrik? Anyway, after a while, the Gabai saw that the, the, the Baba is not using this Esrik. So he took the Esrik. And he took the Esrik, and he was so like nervous and excited. And at the same time, with all the feelings, suddenly he dropped the Esrik right on the Pitam. You know, it's in the Pitam breaks. And in the Pitam, they saw that there was a pin that was holding the Pitam to the actual Esrik. And of course, all the Hasidim said, Wow, the Baba Rebbe has Ruach HaKodesh. He knew that the Esrog was not good. Anyway, they came to the Baba Rebbe afterwards and they told him. And they were saying, Wow, you have such Ruach HaKodesh. The Baba said, I don't have Ruach HaKodesh. I have a rule. In this world, there's nothing perfect. Especially an Esrog represents the Jews, different types of Jews, and it represents the heart. In this world, there's nothing, there's no such thing as not having a blemish. I knew that if it's not external, it must be internal. And that's why I didn't take this Esrik. And we should all know, we all have blemishes. People sent me already videos of blemishes of, of, of the Esrikim that have the marks. And the reason for it is the very practical reason. Is the more you touch it, it creates spots. And the Chasm Seifa says that this is a hiddle because it shows how much you're using it. And my Chavusa told me, he saw in the Chay Adam, that this is the way we paskin. So you could rely on it. You could rely that if your Esrik is becoming very, very much as these brown spots because you're touching it all the time, Halachically, it's okay. Not only is it okay, it's a hiddle. It's beautiful because Hashem sees how much you're using the Esrog. Hatzach Rabban, a good moed to everyone. I want you to enjoy the moed in the highest level of Simcha, Zman Simcha Seinu. And there's one more thing that we can't forget is that the Arizal says when a person is Sameach and he works on being Sameach, then he has Simcha the whole year. The Lashon is Lo'olam Voed. Every moment that we work on a Simcha, we get incredible Simcha joy in the future too.